What was it now? About a year ago, I made a video, 20th of April, um, talking about the new Google Earth app importing KML and KMZ files. Um, I concluded, really, with two things. One is that when you brought in the files, they disappeared when you reloaded the app, and also the big memory hog. So, uh, two things to update. One, let me just take a idea of um, the good news, and that is that it could have been there for ages. But who knows, I don't use the app, I didn't even have it installed because of memory and because of this feature. So in other words, when you go up to the app, which I've now loaded on Android, I can go in and look at my places and we can see when this opens up that there are already two saved files. Now, now that's really good news is because what I found is if you import it at the bottom, saw your map and you thought, oh, that's useful, I can use that next time. The moment you close the app and open the app again, then um, it disappears. Now they don't. So let me just show you what I mean. So what I've done is, um, in the other video, I'm using the same file, quite honestly. And that is that um, when we just orientate it to north, this is England. And on is a county called Essex, and that's where we've got the map. Now, if I go in and I look at my places once again and I turn it off and then I turn it on and I want to fly to a decathlon fun run that was was happening um, give it a moment to that should be actually where is the thing um, um, my place places yeah oh that turn off the eyeball on pause fly here somewhere that the the yellow line and I made to, if you like to um, I can come out not have Definitely got it on, haven't I? This is the thing about what you using these things. Do you know what? What going people proving? Got a clear. Okay, that's why there's. Oh, there's a photo turned up now. So you can see. Um, Which is a right says with the little word uh, map photo that I did for a place page called Cake at the Lake Cafe, which is the cafe over there. And to finish up that on the places. I can KM KMZ and then we can go in right down to the bottom and I've got this UK Trinidad thing and what I want to demonstrate is that when it loads I can come out of the app go back into the app and I'm going to turn off the decathlon one in other words it will still be there so I want to fly to this one that we did which you might remember if you've seen the other video I made and here it is look so you you got here in a couple of circles for other thing, and that's lovely. Now, if I look, and then I go back into Earth, what I will find are the three maps that I have saved already still being saved in Google Earth, which is a big deal because um, last time they kept disappearing or perhaps it was an app beta thing about, um, you know, I don't know, six months, years ago. And it was one of the features why I didn't wish to use it. So let's see, um, perhaps we can sing a song or something while we're waiting for um, the app to load. Just 
pretty interesting because you do these things and you're watching on YouTube and you think, is this guy or is this video thing going to work? Very interesting. Look, should I get rid of that again? And let's open it again. Google Earth, I think, is a memory hog and uh, a resource. There we go. So this time it has um, come in immediately. The point of it being that if I come and let's turn the photos off for a minute and we go into our map places, there you go, all three are there. And so um, that's a big deal, really, because if you can actually get a list of all your places that you're saving, you can really start to um, use this to the full. One other tiny thing, and that is that you might be interested to know that is, uh, you know, that is, should we say, storage, um, SD card, apps, and then I want to just show on my device, which is a Moto G4, which is um, about uh, 15, 16 months old now. And again, perhaps I'm tapping too quickly. Apps. A few moments ago, it was about 130 megabytes. And so if that's gone up just on the demo that I've done, you've got to be aware that I'm using SD card, but some people may not. And if they're using their inside storage of their phone, then Google Earth might be a bit of a biggie. Um, let's have a look. And the scores on the app computing is 131 megs. Look, so the app itself is 163. Uh, the app um, data, shall we say, is uh, yeah 163 in total. And you've got app data there of 131 megs. You might actually argue that that's far, far too big a deal if you're using your internal memory and it's best without, but doesn't really matter just showed you about the Google app um, KML, KMZ files. Have a lovely, lovely day.